Here we have a nice seven mark question. They tell us that the area of triangle KMN, so KMN, okay, so this one's area is 60 centimeters squared. And they tell us that KM is 10, so this length is 10. ML is six, and what do they want? Calculate the length of MN. Okay, calculate the length of MN. Right, so we know that the area of a triangle, the area of a triangle is half base times height. But we need to speak about what is a base and what is a height. So let's say you have a triangle that looks like this, okay? Now, let's say you choose this as the base, then what is the height? That is not the height over there. The height and the base must always make 90 degrees. A base and height must always uh, be perpendicular or they must always make 90 degrees. That is not a 90 degree angle. So what you would do is you would go to this little corner here and you would actually just make a dotted line and then you could make that a dotted line and there, that part there, that is your height. Okay, but you would still use this length here as your base. You mustn't use, um, you mustn't use all of that as your base. You just make that part there your base. Okay, um, if it was an easy 90 degree triangle, then it's very really easy. If that's 90 degrees, then that's a base, that's a height. You see how they make 90 degrees? That's really easy. But as soon as you have a weird triangle like that, then don't use this as your height. So. They told us that this triangle here has an area of 60. So you could understand that that would be the base. This part here would be your base. Let's say base from N to M. That is your base. What would your height be? Your height would not be 10. Your height would actually be from this corner and you would make a 90 degree going down so that it cuts this line. So this line over here is actually the height. So we need to know what that is. Okay, so what we can then do is we could use Pythagoras in this triangle over here, okay? Now we know that with Pythagoras, let's just quickly, we know that that's a 10. So we know that with Pythagoras, this is the longest side. It's the one that's opposite the 90. So we could say that H, uh, let's say here, H squared plus six squared must be 10 squared, okay? It's always these two smaller sides added together to give us the longer side. That's how Pythagoras works. And here you could say Pythagoras or just Pyth. Now here you could say h squared plus 36 is equal to 100. Take the 36 over to the other side. And so h squared is gonna be um, 64. Then you square root and the square root of 64 is eight. Okay, so we now have the length of the height of, this, um, of both of these triangles, okay? It's uh, eight. Now, let's go back to that original triangle, which was this one over here. And they told us that its area is 60. So we could say, um, I'm just gonna write it up here for now. So we could say that its area is 60. Its base is um, the length that we are trying to find, so we don't know, but its height is eight. Okay, so let's just go write that. 60 is equal to a half mn times eight. There's no reason for that. They just told us that the area is 60. Um, so what you could do now is you could say a half and eight. If you multiply a half and eight together, you get four. So I'm just gonna say four MN. Now we're gonna divide both sides by four, boom, boom, and you end up with MN is gonna be equal to 15 centimeters.